It was a close game. I don't know what game it was, but Balance for almost won. And uh, then Austin played against a, uh, a me fighter. Someone's playing me fighter. Yeah. I, I didn't think there's any me players left. But they had all gone away. Oh, Denti beat Mew Squared to get here. That's that's relevant. Really? Yes. Yeah, so okay. Denti beat Mew Squared to get here. Austin taking out Antoine. Was it Antoine he was playing? No. I get, yeah, because Antoine was right after Bounce. Antoine bro. was playing me Fighter. What? That's, that's crazy. so weird. Winner of this actually gets to face off against Lima in the semis. Okay. Yeah, this is quarters. That's how. Oh my gosh, he's bringing back the Yoshi. We haven't seen the Yoshi since what? the custom days. You know what the funniest thing about that is? He didn't even use any customs. <laughs> yeah, right. He just played Yoshi. Oh my I, gosh, and he and he was he played a lot of Yoshi on the 3DS days too. Denty, this is a major throwback to old Denty Smash Four. Yeah, I'm loving the tag two vibe. I can vibe. With I, this. Yeah, I can dig it. It's already showing good. All he needs is now is a jab one into Smash Attack, and that will be the first stock of Austin starting out real good. With this Yoshi, we don't have that many Yoshi players anymore. Yet Rello comes in, does his thing, but uh, he's only here occasionally. Dude, how did that whiff? Did I you see that? I don't even know. I'm that sorry, my thoughts. voice is still recovering from the strep, so some <laughs> the higher pitch tones are all gone, and when I get excited, my body just defaults to extremely high pitch tones. Oh mm, gosh! I don't, oh my god! This, this Yoshi is looking. So so good right now. He started out strong. Austin got some momentum, but then he just brought it right back with that stock. Looking for a way on the stage, which Yoshi has really good tools. I think he should save his double jump uh, a bit later um, so he can't get you know scooped up like that. Okay, that preemptive aerial is going to get caught by the Austin's up air. It is huge. Big up. damage. Again, the down air is preemptively... Uh, he want, it's a long hitbox, so he wants to throw it out and then kind of drift and try to catch Austin, but yeah. Austin's just waiting under him and throwing out the up airs. And up air is such an amazing hitbox. It covers every direction. Jab oh, lock. Okay, here comes Yoshi's some damage. Tipper Bat, yeah. not going to take it, but a lot of damage. Yeah, Yoshi's fat, so he definitely wasn't going to die there at that low of a percent, but that is a huge damage, a swing in Austin's favor. But that egg set up for the forward air puts on a lot of damage in return. And it's, it's funny because like Austin's really good at edge guarding people, but I feel like Yoshi's definitely one of the harder characters to edge guard because of that double jump, having oh, yeah. that super armor and being able to jump through a lot of pressure. Especially when, uh, I mean, one of the best, best parts about Ness is the fact that he has that aerial drift so he can cover a lot, but Yoshi has an insane amount of drift to him as well, makes it yeah. really difficult for Austin to keep up. Yeah, insane Look aerial drift on is. Yoshi. Yeah, he's also heavy as a Mo, and he has crazy aerial drift. Luckily for Denti, that Nair sent him the opposite way that Austin intended. Also didn't hit him against the stage, so you don't have to worry about that tech situation possibly being sent to a tumble. Oh, catches him jumping, and that's what Austin does so often. Ness thrives just so well in the air. So right now from under the he's going to be in there so often. So Denti taking the prime opportunity to catch him while he's in the air, throw another hitbox, get that first game, and go into a game two, which... He's in a really good spot. He's he got just, the his Yoshi's looking real good. It's like he didn't even drop the character. He cradled up Mr. Baby with his <laughs> with his feet and then launched him in his head. I just want a baby picture now with with like a baby and then Austin's face on it. Someone clip out Austin's face and put it on a baby, please. That would be the greatest. Oh that, that's the new DFW meme when someone's like being salty and whining. It's just Austin's face on a baby. Double jabs into catching him with the new, with the uh, grab. That was really, really nice from Denton. Yeah, Denton's been showing that his, his combo game is really on point at these earlier percents. That first game, he got like 80% on Austin, and then, and then Austin was able to bring it back, but he was still able to get that first stock. He's shown that he has no problems getting these percents and then ending the stock looking to get an edge guard possibly. You know which one to get back on stage, possibly being more patient. Doesn't want to worry about uh, catching him off stays in a bad position, I guess. All right. Uh, I, I would like to uh, real quick make a Jeopardy reference and say, uh, uh, what, what? How did how did this game start for 400? Uh, what <laughs> is huge swing of momentum? What is momentum? Denti, please. <laughs> Holy it's, moly. It's exactly what happened last time. It's the momentum swung really hard in Denti's favor at the beginning, and then Austin just gets it right back. And then same exact situation. Denti takes that first off with an up air, same air dodge call out position, and just, you know, gets a stock. And then Austin's able to answer back. But, like, it's an exact repeat of the first game so far. I mean, he's trying to get Denti off stage, but he hasn't had much success edge guarding Denti thus far. 
Yeah, and like I said earlier, it's really difficult, I feel, to as you guard a, a character like Yoshi because of that double jump, because it's, it's pretty much a free get on on stage. You may eat some percent, but you're not going to lose a stock any, by any means, right? And it's so easy for him to retreat to the edges right here. Austin really can't pressure him uh, the way he wants to. Yeah, as you touched on, like... Yoshi is a character with an incredible aerial mobility. You can pretty much just maneuver yourself all around the stage almost for free in most situations. But, but again, that's multiple stocks lost to that. Just throwing out the early mm -hmm. down air, trying to drift into Nas. Yeah. Um, but this time, Austin was ready. Yeah, like the aerial mobility by no means is invincible. Uh, mm -hmm. if, you, if you time your hitboxes right, if you have enough aerial mobility yourself, you can catch Yoshi's slipping in situations like that and will, will net you stocks more often than not. Potential to punish, gets the grab, doesn't wait for the air dodge, goes straight up with the up air, and that's gonna eat him a lot of percent as he falls back down. Okay, not having any of the jab mix-ups, Austin realized he wasn't on the ground, no situation like that, so he could just narrow away. Yeah, this is the potential. Oh my gosh, the call out is shielded Dinty, two O's. Austin in winner's quarters with Yoshi. With Yoshi. What year is it, Zan? I feel like it's 2014. We're back in time. What year is this? It's, we're back in 2014. S Smash just came is out. That, is that Hamlet? <laughs> <laughs> yo, what was the last time Ham Ham yo actually played Yoshi? Was that like Hamlin? If you called, if you ever said that he was a Yoshi player, I think oh my he'd gosh, kill you. I I feel like he just hates Yoshi now. <laughs> I hope he's watching. Oh my god, what oh year god. is this? Dang. Oh my gosh, that'd be, that'd that'd be, be the hypest thing of the true. night. Oh my gosh. Man, that's crazy. Who would have expected that coming into that? Now, historically, I think Denti has an edge on Austin overall player to player. 